everybody's dead. What is going on, TFG squad? My name is Brandon, and welcome back to Ice Cream 3. So in my last part of Ice Cream 3, we were this close to beating the game, and my game froze, and I had to reset it. But that's okay, because you guys helped me out so much in the comments section. So today, not only are we going to beat Ice Cream 3, but we're going to look at some Easter eggs and some secret endings. Okay, so this is how it's going to work. I'm basically going to speed run the entire game until I get to the part where I left off last video. If you guys haven't seen Ice Cream 3 yet, go back and watch my first two videos and I show all the cutscenes and I go through the game a lot more slowly. Okay, everybody start your timers. Let's see how fast I can get through the game. I am excited. I think I know this game like the back of my hand now, so I should be able to get through it pretty quickly. Oh, one thing. So I showed you guys this really quickly last time that I could write my name on the refrigerator, but one thing I didn't know, if I pick someone else, like let's go kindly key in my man, let's hit okay. Okay. Boom! So, Kean's actually in this game. So, now you can see his little logo along with the YouTube logo. And throughout the game now, we should be able to see his face kind of around somewhere. Okay. So, the next thing we have to do is we have to find the keys. Oh! Are they not here? Usually, they're in one of those two spots. All right. Let me look around for the keys and then we're going to get started. Oh, here they are. They've actually never been on this table before. Oh, uh, let's get it. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. This is why I'm not good at speed running. Let's go here and let's go here. And again, like I said, I'm going to be skipping all the cutscenes. But guys, go back and watch them because the cutscenes in this game are fantastic. Okay, so the next thing we have to do is get the electro gun and we have to shoot the little lock off right here. Hiya! Okay, now we can break in here and let's drop the little gun. Let's say hi to our man, Mike. Mike, oh boy, how are you, buddy? Okay, enough hee-hawing around. We got a mission to do here. Uh, let's go to the shopping center first because I want to get the shovel so that I could go to the camping ground. So if you guys are trying... Oh, I think I just saw Key in there for a half a second. So if you guys are trying to beat ice cream and you're trying to learn how to play it, this is the video for you because I'm going to be going through everything as fast as possible. Also, anytime there's anything new that I don't think I've showed you guys in a past video, then I'll actually show it to you. Okay, so we have to open this door by looking up. I should be good. There we go. Okay, that was another thing that you guys helped me out. So here's the shovel. Grab the darn shovel, Brandon. My goodness gracious. Okay, so now I have the shovel, and I think the fishing rod is in that room too. But I was actually talking to you guys, and you said I don't technically need the fishing rod to beat the game. That's just how I get the pistol. So we might actually do that in another video. So now we got huh? the we got the shovel. Let's go over to the camping ground, and we're going to uncover the treehouse key. There's so much going on here, guys. This is fun. I love speedrunning games. Okay, so let's drop this first off, and let's get the map. So the map should be in one of these tents. Is that it? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Okay, so I got the map, and the map is going to show me where the treehouse key is, and then I have to dig to it. So I could see I'm getting closer. I'm getting warmer. Wow, this one's actually kind of far away. Usually they're closer than this. We're getting warmer. Okay, so it's got to be this one right here. So it's in the back left corner. So I have to drop the map. Now I have to go back and get the shovel. And I have to come back to that point. Okay, so I got the shovel. I'm on my way back to the hole. If you guys want to see more Ice Cream 3 on the channel, don't forget to smack that like button. Also, let me know if you like this speedrun style video. Okay, let's uncover the dirt. And there is the treehouse key. Awesome. Okay, so the treehouse is actually here. You can see it right over there in the distance. So, no, get out of my way. Oh, my goodness. Only I would be so weak that I can't get past clothes hangers. I mean, they literally weigh five half, like a half of a pound. I don't know how much a clothes hanger weighs. Okay, so let's go through here. Let's go up to the treehouse, and we're going to unlock it. And then I think we could get the fireworks and the blue horse button there. Come on. Oh, my goodness. Up. Uh, ah. Uh. Okay, I'm the slowest uh, speedrunner in the history of speedrunners. Okay, sweet. So now we got in here. If I open this door, there's the fireworks. And here's the blue. Okay, so here's the blue wooden horse. I have to put it in here. And this is the basis of the entire game. Basically, I need to find four horses. There's a yellow, a red, a blue, and a green. And once I put all four horses here, Rod's chest will open up. And then I guess we'll... I don't know what happens then. That part I haven't gotten to yet. Okay, so let's close this. Let's get the firecracker. Perfect. And let's go back down to the truck. So now I'm actually going to the metro station. And here's a cutscene. And it's actually a really cool cutscene about Rod's mom. But like I said, I'm skipping all the new cutscenes or all the old cutscenes in this game. Go back and watch them in the previous videos. Okay, so I have the fireworks. And I know if I go over here, I could put the fireworks down. And I could blow this little barrier up any second now. Come on, fireworks. Cover your ears. Oh, jeez. 
startles me every single time. So now I can get over here and I could go into this room over here, which I'm going to use to get the, the little door lifter thing to go back to the mall. I'm talking so fast. And if you guys haven't seen ice, hey, there's Kian. Hey, my man, Kian. He looks terrified right now of Rod. Well, Rod is kind of a terrifying guy. Okay, so now I can get the, where is it? Is it not here? Wait, hold on a silly second. Do they move it around? Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Oh, come on. So I do have to come into this room for the levers, but usually there's the little door lifter for the mall. Oh, that's a load of barnacles. Is it going to be hidden somewhere else? Those silly son of a nutcrackers. It's it's Kian's fault. I'm blaming Kian because he made a scary face and then they move things around. My goodness. Oh, I've actually never seen this room before. This is new. Oh, but there's nothing in here. I was maybe... Oh, I can hide in here. Okay, so I guess when I'm not on ghost mode, I can kind of... Oh, here it is. Here it is. The hydraulic jack thing. I don't really know what to call it. Okay, at least it was in this room, and I actually got to see a new room. Kian, I'm sorry, Kian. I didn't yell at you. Well, I kind of did yell at you, but I forgive you. All right, so we're going to go back to the mall, and we will be back to the metro station because we actually have to go on the train to get clothes for a homeless man. This game is so involved, but it's so much fun. All right, so I am back in the mall. So if I go here, if I try to open the door, it gets jammed, but then I could put this little thing in there and it opens it up. All right, so I can crouch down. And I believe the only thing in here is the motorbike. So let's grab the motorbike. Let's get the heck out of here. Uh, okay. And let's go downstairs. So we basically have to ride the motorbike around the mall. It's actually really difficult. It took me a while last time. All right, so here we go. Ready, set, go. Okay, this is actually, it, this motorbike is so hard to drive, but hopefully I can get through it on my first time. And if not, I blame Kian again. It'd be kindly Kian's fault again. Okay, oh, okay, here we go. I'm actually off to a better start than I was before. Usually I kept crashing into walls. I know right as I say that I'm probably gonna crash into a wall. Come on, Brandon, be careful. This is kind of a tricky part right here, but I'm doing better. Look at me. Look at me. I am a professional gamer. Yes. Yes. Okay, I'm getting way too cocky here. Way too cocky. Yep, yep. I missed the turn. Darn it. Okay, this is actually where I got stuck a lot of times too. I fell down here. Uh, oh, we're doing better. We're doing better. Okay, we got 35 seconds. No, Brandon. No, Brandon. Keep going. Keep going. Oh, my goodness. Go, Brandon. I have 30 seconds. 30 seconds. Ugh. Come on. I feel like I'm past the hard part. No, I'm making I'm making my own hard parts now. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. I have 20 seconds. I don't think I have time. I still have a while to go. 18. I got to turn. I can't run into anything now. Oh, I'm getting out of control. Okay. Come on. Come on, Brandon. Go. I have 10 seconds. 10. 9. Oh, I don't know if I can do this. Keep going, Brandon. This might be it. This might be it. Ooh. Yeah. First try, baby. First try. Oh, yes. Thank you so much, sir. And he gives us the red horse, which is awesome, because now I can go back to the camping site and I can put the red puzzle piece in. Oh, this is going well so far. I can't believe I got it on my first try. All right, so we're back here. Let's put the red one in place. Awesome. Now we have two out of the four, baby. So the next thing we're going to do while we're at the camping site is we're going to save Liz. So she's hiding in a bush right here, and she asks us a series of questions. But again, I'm going to skip it for this video. Go back and watch them in the previous videos. Okay. Okay, so I I answered all the questions correctly, and now I have a walking bush lady chasing me. But basically, this is how you save Liz, and I have to take her back to Rod's truck. And there goes Liz. All right, so we have officially saved Liz. Well, we haven't really saved her yet. If anything, we brought her back into Rod's truck. But that's okay. We will save her once we beat the game. Let's go back to the metro station, and we're going to get the hat and the shoes for the homeless guy at the circus. Here's the next cutscene. So that's where we learn about Rod's mom a little bit more. But again, go back and watch it in the previous videos. I'll have a little card in the top right corner of your screen uh, if you want to go back and watch the first two videos. Okay, so let's actually go over to the train real quick and get the clothes. Okay, so here's the hat and here's the shoes. So I have to take both of those back to Rod's truck. All right, I got the hat and the shoes in the truck. Now let's go over to the circus. Where's the circus? There it is. Awesome. Okay. We're ticking things off the list. This game is really long. Like, even when I know how to beat everything, it still takes a while. So now I have to do... Right now, I think I'm carrying the... Sh what do I have? The hat? I think I have the hat. So if we go in the circus, there's a homeless man that I think I named uh, Jim Bob. I think I named him Jim Bob the Homeless Man. If I got that wrong, let me know in the comments. So here's Jim Bob. So I could give him a hat. Hiya! 
Okay, so now he has one out of the two items. Then I have to go back to the truck, get the shoes, and give Jim Bob the shoes. Hey, Jim Bob, I got some nice, beautiful boots for you. I feel like I'm giving him old boots from a subway. Like, that doesn't seem like the greatest thing in the world, but I guess the guy's desperate. And now he opens up his hand, and I could get the circus key. Oh, here it is, here it is. And I know we get, I think it's the yellow. Yes, it's the yellow horse for this one. So let's unlock this door. Beautiful. Let's open up this, and let's get the yellow horse. Wonderful. Okay, I think there's actually one thing that I forgot to do at the circus, and you guys were helping me out. We have to save Charlie. So I am struggling to find Charlie. Oh, I don't think I went up this staircase, and now I'm getting warmer. Now I'm on fire, baby. I bet he's gonna be up here. Charlie! Charlie! Where is he? Where the heck is Char- Don't tell me he's in here. Jay? Is he is! You? What happened? How, how did Rod capture Liz? Okay, so I'm not gonna skip this part because I haven't gotten to this part in the game. So basically, Liz was a walking bush lady, and now Charlie is a walking box man. I mean, <laughs> what's up with this family? Okay, so what did he say? Jay, is that you? What happened, and how did Rod capture Liz? Okay, so I have to get the answers right, or else I can't move on and I can't save Charlie. Alright, let's go to... I'm not afraid of that stupid ice cream maker. How did you not tell me that Rod had my sister? Are we not friends anymore? This kid is such a whiny little jerk. I'm trying to save you and your sister right now. Why don't you just come with me so I can save you? Of course we're friends, but I imagine that I could handle it myself. All right, I'm just going to go with that like one. You didn't do very well. <laughs> Next time, be sure to keep me in mind. Remember that I am the bravest of the four. Well, I think I'm braver. I think the frustrated gamer is the bravest person in the world, but that's just my opinion. Now that you mention it, Mike has been captured by Rod too. All right, let's go with that one. Oh, well, yes. <clears throat> what can I do for you? You can help you can come with me so that you can help me. Oh my goodness Follow me to Rod's van and watch hidden from there. We will arrive home all safe and sound Yeah, yes, go. yes, okay, cool So I have the yellow horse and I have the walking box man now. This is so awesome So I saved Charlie and Liz now. I'm taking him back to the van. I wonder if we can beat the game Without saving Charlie and Liz, let me know in the comments what would happen if I got all of the horses and I beat the game without saving my friends and get in that truck. I feel like I, if I were them, I would start to not trust me because I feel like I'm working for Rod. Basically, all I'm doing is luring them back into Rod's truck. It seems like this is bad. All right, Congratulations, whoa, this Rod, is new. Your 15th birthday. Be strong. We heard about the death of Joseph Sullivan. I wish I could be with you right now. But the Lord requires me here a little more. Congratulations, Rod, for your 16th birthday. Even though I can't come to you, you can visit me whenever you want. Don't resent me for not seeing you. If you knew why, I can't go see you. Congratulations, Rod, for your 17th birthday. I think Please, this is from his mom. Come see me. I ask you. Congratulations, Rod, for your 18th birthday. Congratulations, wow. Rod, for your 19th birthday. For your 20th birthday. 21st birthday. 22nd birthday. 23rd birthday. 24th birthday. How old is Rod? Congratulations, Rod, for your 25th birthday. This will be the last time I write to you. Why? It seems that nothing I say is enough for you to come back to me. Even so... I never stop dreaming of the day you and I meet again. Oh, this is sad. We have so much to talk about. I want to hug you like when you were four years old and you were with me. Keep the book I give you as your most precious asset. For I will reveal a secret that only Joseph Sullivan knew. He stole it from me. But now I give it to you. Thanks to the fact that more time has passed... I have been able to improve the formula. You what? are my son, and you deserve it all. I will give you the opportunity to synthesize an extraordinary chemical compound with equal force to create a sparkling sun of life or a moon full of death. Oh my goodness! Me, your mother who will always be with you. Sister Madeline. Sister Madeline. S.M.
So Rod's mom is the evil nun. All right, so I am back here. And as we put the yellow block in, this is officially where my game froze last time. So all of this now is brand new. Okay, so we're back in the subway station. And before I beat the game, I actually want to show you guys another little Easter egg. This one I actually learned from Kian. I can run over Rod with the train. So this is the final part of the puzzle. This is the green horse, I believe, right? Uh, yes, it's the green horse. So that's the final piece of the puzzle to beat the game. But if I drop the gun right here, Rod should run over here because he heard a sound. And then I can get the train to come through and I can run right through Rod. At least I think so. Let's see if this actually works. Okay, I got to be careful here that I don't get run over by the train. Come on, Rod. Come on, Rod. My goodness gracious. Have a little sense of urgency here. I'm trying to hit you with a train. Don't you know that I'm trying to hit you with a train? Stop being so rude, Rod. My goodness. You try to hit one guy with a train and he becomes difficult. Okay, so let's do this. Come on. Let's start. And then let's walk away. Let's walk away. There we go. We hit Rod. Oh, he went flying like a ragdoll. You hit Rod. He will be unconscious for one minute. What? Okay. Okay. Time out here. If I got hit by a train... I think I would be dead. I don't think I would be unconscious for one minute. Man, Rod is like the strongest person in the entire world. Also, guys, I was being a dumb son of a nutcracker. So the entire game last time, I was like, I don't know what I have to do with the levers. And then you guys were like, Brandon, just look up. There's a sign right there. And here it is. Literally, it was right over my nose the entire time. So I have to go back into that room and I have to do one, three, four, and then that should close this track. And then I guess I should be able to pick up the green horse. I'm confusing myself at this point, but I think I know what to do. All right, so let's do one, let's do three, and let's do four. No, I, oh my goodness gracious, I'm so bad at this. One, three, four. You have activated the mechanism. Okay, awesome. So now when the train comes, it should go on a different track. Here we go, guys. The moment of truth. So I'm going to try to pick this up. And if I did that before, I would have actually gotten hit by the train. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, it worked. It actually worked. Okay. Okay. Let's try to pick it up now. Come on, Brandon. Come on, Brandon. Here we go. It should take like a couple seconds. Hopefully the train doesn't change its mind. Yes. So I have the final piece of the puzzle. Let's go back to the camping grounds now and let's go up to the uh, tree house. Here it is. The final piece of the puzzle. I don't know what's going to be in here. Great. You have placed all four. Now I can open it. What is oh, it's the cage key. It's the cage key. So now we can save Mike. Here we go. Let's go back to the truck. Hang on, Mikey boy. The frustrated gamer is here to save you. Interact. You need to travel to the neighborhood first. All right. So let's go over to the neighborhood. Let's go there. And that should have worked. That should have worked. Come on. I know there's more Easter eggs and stuff that I can explore. Let me know in the comments, but hopefully this will be it. This might be it. Yes. 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 Now you better jump. You, you better not get we scared this time. All together. Yes. Hi, you're a great team. Get off of the truck, guys. Get off of the truck. Hi, kids. No. Did you think I'm dumb? Huh? We are a great team. Please! <laughs> no. Oh no! I ch I captured everybody. I everybody's dead. Oh, so here's the secret ingredient. What if I grab that, and then what do I what do I do with the secret ingredient? Oh, open door. I don't know what to do. He's frozen. No! No! My friends! Why did I grab the secret ingredient? Why couldn't I have just grabbed my friends? Oh my goodness, is that the end? But now I have the secret ingredient. Game completed. To be continued! So there will be an ice cream for guys! Oh yes, that's what I'm talking about! <laughs>